In this video, we're going to take a look at graphing points and identifying quadrants on the coordinate plane. With the coordinate plane, we look at ordered pairs, and all of our ordered pairs are in this form, x, y, where the first coordinate is the x coordinate, the second coordinate is the y coordinate. The x coordinate tells us how far to go, either to the left or to the right, the y coordinate tells us how far to go up or down. In terms of the positive and negative stuff, if the value is positive, we go to the right or up. If the value is negative, we go to the left or down. Okay? And in terms of going left or right and up and down, so we can think of it like reading a book. If we're reading a paragraph, we read from left to right, and then we work our way up and down the page. So as I graph, I'm going to go left or right first, and then I'm going to make my way up or down. Also, we can talk about the quadrants on the coordinate plane. And the quadrants are labeled with Roman numerals starting with this quadrant right here in the upper right. And we call this the first quadrant. It's the positive, positive. So to get out here, we have to have a positive x value and a positive y value. That's going to get us into this section. Then we go counterclockwise around and label the other quadrants. So this is the second quadrant. This is the third quadrant. And finally, this is the fourth quadrant. We remember that this is the x-axis, the horizontal axis, and this is the y-axis, the vertical axis. If we're asked to identify a quadrant and the point is on one of the axes, then it is not located in one of the quadrants. All right, let's take these ordered pairs that we have over here and see what we can do with them in terms of graphing. All right. First one, negative 1, 4. My x coordinate is negative 1. So that means I'm going to go, let's see, negative. So that's to the left. And I'm going to go 1 to the left. So we always start at the origin right here in the middle, which is the point 0, 0. We're going to go 1 to the left. That's that negative 1. And then 4, that's the up or down, so 1, 2, 3, 4, and right there is my first point, and we'll label that as point A. Okay? Let's try this next one, 5, 3. <coughs> well, 5, 3, 5 is positive, and we go left or right first, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then we go up 3, 1, 2, 3, to be right there, which is our point B. Then, let's try this next one. Negative 6, negative 4. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I went in the, to the left because it's a negative 6. And then negative 4 is going to take me down 4. So, 1, 2, 3, 4 to right there. That's my point C. <coughs> next, point D is 1, negative 2. Okay, 1's positive, we go left or right first, so 1 to the right, and then negative 2 is going to be down 2, puts us right there. That's our point D. Next, we have point E. Now, E and F are the ones that I see people get confused on most often. But if we remember, we go left or right first, and then up or down, hopefully that can help us to get through these as well. So, the x-coordinate here is 0, so that means I go 0 left or right. So I stay right here at the origin. Then, negative 1, up or down, well, the negative takes me down, so that puts me right there with my point E. Okay, and then F, 7, 0, so let's see, that's left or right first, so positive 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and the y coordinate is 0, so I go up or down 0, so I stay right on the x-axis, and there's my point F. Okay, now let's label the quadrants in which all of those are located. Well, quadrant 
our point A is in quadrant 2, point B is quadrant 1, it's positive, positive, point C puts us in quadrant 3 down here, point D right there, quadrant 4, Point E and point F are not located in any quadrant because they're on the axes. The <coughs> point E is on the y-axis, it's not a quadrant, and point F is on the x-axis. So those again are not located in any of the quadrants. Okay, then let's take a look at identifying and providing an ordered pair given some points. We've got the points W, X, Y, and Z on our coordinate plane here. Let's come up with an ordered pair that would get us to each of those points. Remembering, we start here at 0, 0, and then I want the left or right piece first. That's my X coordinate. So, to get out to W, I need to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 in the positive direction because I'm going to the right so that my X coordinate is 9. Then I'm right here so I'm just above it. I have to go down 1, 2, 3 and there's my point W. Since I went down that's negative so it's negative 3. So that point right there W is located at the point 9, negative 3. All right, let's try the X. Well, to get to the point X, I start by going left or right. Well, I'm right here, starting again on the origin. So 1, 2 to the left, well, that's negative, so that's negative 2. And then to get down to X, I got to go down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and there's my point X and that's negative 9 since I went down 9. Now, one thing that people sometimes get mixed up with is we want to count the lines, not the spaces. Okay, So all of our points are going to fall on those lines. We're not going to count the spaces. Okay, Then <coughs> go to point Y. Well, how do I get there from the origin? I'm going to go left or right. I'm going to go left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, and since I went to the left, it's negative 7. Then, how far up or down? Well, 0. I don't go up or down at all. So it's located at the point negative 7, 0. And finally, point Z right here. Well, how do I get there? Left or right? I don't go left or right at all. It's right above me, so I go left or right, 0. That's my x coordinate. And finally, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 to get up to the Z. Up is positive, so that's going to be positive 6, the point zero six. So, graphing points and identifying quadrants on the coordinate plane. First of all, the quadrants, we start here in the upper right where the X and the Y values are positive. That's quadrant 1. And we go counterclockwise around labeling the quadrants. That's our four pieces that the coordinate plane is broken into. If points are located on the axis, either the x-axis or the y-axis, those are not in a specific quadrant. And we go, the x-coordinate determines the left or right. The y-coordinate tells us up or down. Positive directions are to the right and up. Negative directions to the left and down. Hope this video was helpful. Keep working hard on your math. You can do it.